Bitcoin project. Okay, this is good. Um, so for the few who don't know, it's cryptocurrency, decentralized peer-to-peer, -peer, basically the form of cash on the internet. Uh, transactions are confirmed by blocks, and coins are generated by you <coughs> mining the blocks to get coins. So, what bit prospector is? It'll manage mining across different pools. Um, pool mining is basically saying, okay, I can't really generate an entire block of coins by myself, so the group of us are gonna work together and it's just split the profits. So that's how pools operate. Uh, unfortunately, everyone uses different pools and there's no standard for you know UI design, interface, uh, statistics or anything. So th this is kind of like to merge everything together so you can just track one web page, show every, every pool you're doing, all your workers, and just show you exactly what's going on with your miners. Um, the alert system I'm going to add is basically like saying, okay, your system just went offline, so you should go check, you know, system 23 or whatever to make sure there's no, like, heating problems, which some systems do overheat and burn up. Uh, you can easily track the status, as I was saying, and also exchange rates. Um, there's a few sites that do offer you, like, a nice API to get all the uh, exchange rates, but none of them actually come in and say, okay, you have X amount of Bitcoins that's worth exactly as much right now. The technical side of this is going to be Django and Python with jQuery for all the JavaScript on the front end. Uh, JSON APIs, which is pulling in everything from mining pools to exchange rates. Then the Block Explorer or Bitcoin client, which will interface with your wallet. Uh, I was planning on just using a Block Explorer, but they actually released a new version of Bitcoin client today for encryption. So this could very well turn into like a web-based uh, Bitcoin client and actually allow you to send and receive Bitcoins uh, from a web server. And then different models for pools. Um, instead of doing, let's say, pool one has its own class definition, I'm doing, you're storing all like, the key values for the dictionary within that class, and then just going from there and pulling everything at the start of the pool page. So, yeah. so the model design, dictionary keys, part of the problem is it varies from pool to pool. So let's say one pool says balance for one key, Another might say confirm balance, confirm rewards. So there's no real telling you what you're actually looking at. So this is kind of going to cut down on that. Uh, the initial design is based off of three pools, ours, deep fit, and not red. This accounts for roughly 50% of the entire network power. So I have a pretty good sample size of what users are doing. Uh, let me actually give you a demo. This is the JSON API. You can see confirm rewards, X amount, hash rate. Um, not really sure what that one is. They, they don't really give you documentation for this. Payout history, worker, and all that. So that gets parsed into this, which you can see deep fit. I'm not really working on that one. Uh, R as I am, and refresh it, and everything should update. Uh, part of the problem with this is I'm actually running this worker. It says 2.4 mega hashes. It won't do anything there because the way the web servers do it is it's by the last share submitted. So there is a delay between what your system is actually doing and what the web server is actually telling you. There's not much you can do about that without actually hooking into the different miners, which might be something I look into, but realistically it's a bit much. So this is an example of an exchange uh, site I'm looking at. So you can see everything going up and down, and then they give you this nice big block of JSON text to parse and figure out. So yeah, uh, I plan on expanding <coughs> the test pools to kind of like roughly 70%. I can do that by just adding one or two more pools, so that way it's really the majority of the entire network, so everyone will be able to use it. Uh, a nice interface and graphs, so you can see how much profit you're actually making over time, uh, with difficulty increases and in exchange rates. Offline minor alerts, it'll send you an email and possibly a text message. I'm looking to possibly using a Python Google Voice API, <coughs> although that project's been kind of dead for a while. And then, as I was saying, interface with the Block Explorer uh, Bitcoin client, so you can see exactly how much you have in your wallet in addition to the pools, and send and receive the points. So yeah, any questions? Uh, is this uh, thing so you can monitor your servers? that are 
mining bitcoins, or is this for you tracking how you're doing in a pool that, that other people are interested in? It's pretty much everything. Um, because if you manage your miners, you can see exactly which ones are offline, which ones are online, and you can see how you're doing in relation to the rest of the pool. So let's say you have a pool hopping scripts, which you can log into remotely, which there's actually quite a few of those out there. If you're seeing your proportion is less than like X amount of percentage, you can send that command to the pool hop script to switch to a different pool, where if it's a paper, if it's not paper share, but it's proportional. So out of the 50 Bitcoins, you might get X over how many, many shares you submitted over the entire share just for that round. You can change that so your bit proportions to you get more payout. So it's really designed to maximize your profits. Thank you. Okay.